All right. So before I start, guys, I do want to kind of give a shout out. I don't know. A shout out's not a good enough word, but a huge, huge gratitude um, to Andreas Gable. Gable, is that how you say your name? I'm not sure. I'm sorry if I said that, didn't say that right, but he is the one that created this DTS. Um, I am so, so grateful um, for all the work that he has done for this DTS. I've played so much on here because um, I'm just waiting for this game to come in. Um, it, you know, playing this game on TTS is what actually made me back the apocalypse. I was just going to back the first, the core box, but then he made this and me and my friend started playing a lot and Man, so then we ended up backing the apocalypse. So I'm so grateful for Andreas, and I just want to give a shout out and a vocal thanks to him and making this possible so I could actually play this and have fun. And I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, this is, I just finished, I'm just recording this at, afterwards. Um, it was an exciting battle. Um, I hope you guys like it and enjoy. All right, ladies and gents, <laughs> we are back. So. Today we're going to do something a little different. As you can see, I only got one player here today. I'm going to do a true solo. In this last couple times, I've done all, f I've done three heroes at a time. And to be honest, I was, I mean, I'm sure you guys noticed, I was starting to lose it. <laughs> there was so much stuff I was missing. And honestly, I've actually never played this true solo. I've always played with at least two characters, if not three. So, we're going to try to true solo and see... Kind of how it is. I think it's going to be interesting when I'm the only target. Yeah. So it's it's going to be it's going to be interesting. Especially, I think I might have made it a little bit harder on myself than I needed to. <laughs> so we'll see how much I die. So what I did, we're technically playing chapter two again. However, uh, on the back of the door cards, they have that QR code, and they have some random doors. They were not quite. Good for one shot solo, meaning right. If we're doing this old style, there was some that was like one black monster, and I was like, "Well, I'm not gonna level up if there's a whole one black monster in the toll in the entire area, right?" Because it kind of bases off of having a couple more heroes or enemies. So I kind of altered it. Like this was only supposed to have two, but I threw one more in there because I made it a little bit bigger. So it's kind of chapter two, but I used the QR code. But at the same time, even with that QR code, I changed it up a little bit. <laughs> but, you know, I figured that's a lot better than there's no real spoilers for people. Um, I had a couple questions about that last time. Didn't even think about that. So I apologize if there was any spoilers without people being ready for it. But so yeah, we're just going to go this one at a time. It might be a little hard because I added there's three enemies versus me one right now. So we will see how it goes. I am playing as Torque, the Orc Barbarian. So he's going to be a hard hitter, but he is melee, which I'm also kind of worried about. Um, but we'll see how it goes. So he's got Mighty Blow, which is a plus two hit, plus one damage and knockdown. He's got Beheading Strike. <laughs> That's cool. Plus three to hit, plus two damage, and a crit 16 plus. Oh, dude, could you imagine getting 16 plus right off the bat, doing 10 damage right off the bat? Wow. Um, then he's got his focus one, cleanse one. Then he's got his Orcus Bloodlust, which is whenever a gray monster dies, self fury one. Um, fury, you go right over there. Once per turn, before you make an attack roll, you may discard a fury to give plus one damage to that attack. So you, at least there it says that you do have to do it before you make the attack roll. Meaning you might use it and you might miss. But that's what Fury does. Then we have Savage Charge. Pay 1 HP. Move 6. Target adjacent enemy. 2 damage. That's actually might be kind of nice. With being the only character and kind of a bigger space. That way I can move towards someone. Do some damage with it. And then attack melee. I think that's going to be good, actually. Then he's got a stomping lead. Jump three, target adjacent enemy, two damage. Oh, that's actually really nice. I think he's a good solo guy. Um, then he's got retaliate three, and enrage self shield four, and fury one. Ooh, that's going to be good if I have any like downtime. I can't really attack or do anything. That could come in handy. Um, I did choose the defender, 
<laughs> mainly so I could go first because I want to do anything I can before they do anything. Um, so I do get plus three HP. So I got a good amount of HP at least. Um, and then I also have uh, self shield two, move two, and then plus zero hit. I also figured that would be good. So I could do a little bit more movement with him. And then I have leather armor, which is just prevent two and move two. Once again, getting that movement in. And then I just got my normal axe. So all I have is that prevent three and that retaliate three, and then just prevent two for reactions. So enrage actually shows that it's a reaction. However, in the errata, it does say that that should not be there. So we're just going to pretend like that's not there, that it's not a reaction. It is just a normal action. All right. And we're going to use this guy for that. All right. And we are off. Let's see what we can do here. So to show, we got a Skeleton Archer, and the Executioner, and a Shadow Vampire. So I'm hoping those guys are further enough back there. I could first focus on this Skeleton Archer before they come up and attack me. Because obviously I'm going to get attacked by him no matter what. So, right off the bat, let's go one, two, three. So I am adjacent to him. And let's, let's try to behead him right off the bat. See if we can't. Beheaded strike. <laughs> I love that. That's awesome. Especially with that big old axe. Very, very fitting. All right, let's do this. Oh, 15. So close. Okay. That's all right. That's still, what, what's his health at? He's only six? Oh, snap. I thought it was more than that. Well, that's five. So that's, <laughs> all right. So if I could push him, can he be poisoned? He can be poisoned. Can I push him anywhere? I don't think he has any pushes, does he? No, he does not. However, I can do one of these just so I'm not. All right, this is what I'm doing. I'm going to do that right away. I'm going to take one HP. I'm really kind of messing up that move six. But I'm just going to move like that, do two damage. Skeleton Archer is down. That is how you do it with the Barbarian. Boom, baby. Now we get a uh, cube. So he's got Enraged Blows. Negative two hit, negative two hit, negative two hit. That's not too shabby. Then he's got Grappling Hook. Plus two hit, plus three damage. Telekinesis three. Um, that's kind of a no-brainer. And it's range, which will give me range. Kind of a no-brainer. Uh, move three, self-focus two. And then Intimidate 4, your next attack this turn gains plus 2 damage and crit 16+. plus. Ooh. That is not too bad. All right, and we, I forgot to show here as well. Um, his focus abilities, he's got Log Splitter, plus 1 hit, plus 2 damage, and Stun. That Stun could be very helpful as solo. And then Retaliate all damage. <laughs> that could be awesome. I mean, that means he takes a big hit. But, I mean, retaliate all damage, that could do some good damage. All right, so we are obviously taking that range cube. That, I don't even have to really think twice about that. Now, the Shadow Vampire is going to go, and he's going to move for a five. Uh-oh, Can he? he's going to reach me. One, two, three, four, five. It's because I moved forward. Oh, well, I'll take it. I'll take it. And he is poisoned, though. He is poisoned. Who is he? He's the pink guy. So he is poisoned. And, oh, yeah. He does me one damage. And vicious means I can't do anything about it. So it's just one damage. Not too bad. Not too bad. Now this guy's going to go. He's going to move for four. Oh, he's going to actually hit me. I thought these two wouldn't hit me. One, two, three, four. Well, if I would have just stayed back there, if I would have just, like, thought before. Oh, well. It doesn't matter. I'll, I'll take it. Um... So he also gets poisoned, right? He's not immune to poison. Yep. He also gets poisoned. Which I am definitely okay with that. But now what is he doing to me? Four damage. Bleed one and slow. I'm actually okay with slow because I don't need to go anywhere right now. So I'm not too ha sad about that. Um... But he is doing four damage. There's nothing I could do about that. So I'm going to have to use a red one for that. But 
I'll prevent two, so I still get hit for two. So I also get bleed and slow, and then that would be the end of my turn. That kind of hurt, but I'll live. I'll live, hopefully. <laughs> now we will draw one ruin. Let's shuffle that. Ooh, just a mini straight. I will take that mini straight because that is not even going to get it close to me. All right. Flip that over. Time for round two, baby. Bring it on. Bring it on. Check. Oh, all right. So I'm definitely going to go after the big guy here. Oh, whoops. I moved two. Sorry. So actually, I'm just going to move one when I did my defense there. Because, check this out. I'm going to go grappling hook plus two hit plus three damage whoa that was a big 13 will do it so plus three damage that means i do six damage one two three four five six and then i'm gonna telekinesis three and i'm gonna go one two three meaning he has two more poison might not do anything, but now he gets two more poison because I pushed him through the poison. And now that's why it's called the grappling hook because he hits him. And now I'm just going to do a big old mighty blow. Plus two hit one plus one damage. All I got to do is hit. And that's a hit. And that will just wait. Plus how much damage? Just one damage plus one damage. And that is one, two, three, four. Yep, sure enough, that poison didn't matter, but he will die at the beginning of his turn. Just like that. And, oh, I did take one damage there. And that slow is removed, and I did that. All right. Well, if I don't say so myself, that was a good turn. <laughs> and I will take a willing recall. So I take a willing recall. Let's do it. Let's do it. Mmm. Dang. I like all of his, man. I'm gonna do that one, I guess. Alright. That is my turn. Shadow Vampire is gonna take one step. He's gonna take two damage. One, two from his poison. And then he's just gonna do one damage that I can't block. Which sucks, but at the same time, that was his turn. And now he goes and... He poisons to death. <laughs> and he's dead. And now I get a class upgrade. Hero class. So my options are whenever a black or white monster dies, self fury one. Ooh. So right now it's just when gray monsters. So I could do that. So pretty much any monster dies, I'll get a fury one. Which a gray monster did just die. So I'm going to fury one. So I self-furied one, and I'm using that as my fury. I just made it a little bit smaller there. So that's my fury token. So I self-furied one. Okay. So I could get one. Anyone dies. I could get three more HP. However, that maxes my... That only adds one because you can't get above 16 now, which is kind of lame right now because he would have so much health, but I can't. Um, or I could, as a reaction, you may discard a fury to retaliate to. Or plus two movement. Ooh, that plus two movement could be super powerful, actually. But I think I'm going to go with this one. So now I get a fury after every monster dies. Which I like that. And now more darkness is going to spawn. Ooh, that's a big one. That one's going to hit me. No patch, it's not. But definitely this next one will. Oh my goodness, another big one? Ooh, that one's not going to fit. Alright, so since that one doesn't fit, we'll just put them like that. And then I take two damage. One, two. Alright, now it's my turn again. And... What I need to do, just seven damage here. So that's five damage. Oh, no, I only need to do five damage. Sweet. So let's just try to behead him here again. 
And the beheading is a hit. So he does five damage, which means he will die at the beginning of his turn. Which now means I can just kind of book it to the door. And of course, I just covered up my jump. Because I'm just going to move three. One, two, three, and I'll take that poison. Let's do this then. Pay one health to move six. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to go right there, but I did take a stop at that during my movement watch i'm gonna get two more poison <laughs> booyah i'm too fast i'm too fast for the treasure chest trap and in that treasure chest was oh yes a spell i love spells up to two targets three damage and knockdown that is gonna be so helpful so helpful all right and that's my turn and this guy is going to try to go, and he's going to poison to death. <laughs> oh, I did not flip that over last time. And one is going to be drawn, and a big zigzag. Ah, oh, it's still going to hit me. Nope, maybe not, maybe not. Nope, it is not. Yes. All right, now it is my turn. And I take two more damage from the poison. And then I will, I'm going to do two actions here. I'm going to heal two, one, two, and cleanse. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And then I will shield four and fury. Oh, I did fury again for killing that guy. And then I fury again for that ability. And then I'm going to shield four. And then I will take a willing recall again. And take that curse cube back. We'll put it back right there. And yeah, that will be my turn. So we're going to do two ruins again. Wow, the, <laughs> the ruin turns come by quick when, when you're the only one playing. <laughs> and this first one's going to hit him. So he takes two damage. Oh my goodness, this darkness is going to kill me. Two. And then... Uh, I can't place that one, so I just get hurt for two. One, two. Holy cow. That darkness is a killer, man. When you're the only one getting it. Ooh, buddy. Yeah, he's gonna he's he's gonna die quick. Oh, take him off the board. Oh. But that was supposed to go up, and I'm definitely healing two. One, two. From that when I killed that guy. Alright. Now I will open the door. And we're back. We got this door open. So this one we only have two in here because it's a much smaller room. Um, uh, to be fully transparent, I actually had three in this room. And how that room went, I really don't want three of them attacking me. I feel like I'm almost dead already because of the darkness. Um, all right. So with my turn, so far away with that water. One, two, three. So I can't get to the Shadow Cultist. But I'm going to be minus two to that hit. Meaning, what if I... Ah, see whether I have to pay a health. And if I get hit by darkness, I'm going to die. Ooh, there we go. What if I join the fray? That is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go one, two, three. Then I am going to... Join the fray and self shield two. Oh, that kind of take. Oh well, that's okay. It's gonna move to one two, and then I'm gonna turn around and smack this shadow cultist with a plus zero to hit. Twelve, twelve will do it. So that's the shadow cultist for three one two three, and then I'll do this. I'll try to behead him. I mean, if I get Grit, right? 16 plus. Come on. <laughs> that is a 16 plus. That is 10 damage right there. <gasps> Kaboom! <laughs> Shadow Cultus is beheaded. <laughs> I really like Torque. I don't know about you guys, but Torque is awesome. All right, this is going to go around to another hero skill. 
All right. So this is where it goes. Do we want to do this so my next attack gets plus two? Ooh, especially with that, it would be a plus five damage. Or do I want to try to triple hit? I want to try to triple hit because that's a lot of fun. That sounds like a lot more fun. <laughs> so we'll give that other mana cube. However, that is my turn. Whoops. Shadow Cultist is who I killed. Oh, and I get a Fury. Oh, I didn't do a Fury. Oh, well, I'm full on Fury now. <laughs> and now he will go. Luckily, he'll just go one and do me one. Oh, but oh, shield. I can't. Yep, see, my shields don't do anything for that. <laughs> Darkness and that is going to kill me, man. And now, how many do we... Now we just draw one. And a big U-shape. Yep, and that's going to get me once again. The darkness got me right there. And I take two damage. One, two. Man. I don't know, I might just take the down. Just so I could get all my health back without wasting my time healing. <laughs> so... Now, check this out. I'm going to go one, two. Nope, nope. Let's see. He's at nine health. I might do this. Okay. Yep, so I moved. So I moved. And then I'm going to do my grappling hook. Except for my grappling hook might work a little different as long as I hit. Haha, <laughs> 15. So it does hit. So that is 6 damage. Because it's a plus 3 damage. So that's 6 damage. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I get to telekinesis 3, right? Now it says grappling hook, which usually pulls you pulls them towards you. However, it is telekinesis. means that I get to control their movement. So I'm going to go 1, 2, three. Three, boom, and because that is a double level right there, he gets hurt for two. Bloop, bloop. Now, I understand he's still probably going to go and hit me, and I probably could have killed him, but that was kind of cool and fun. <laughs> so, for my second, my green one to heal two and cleanse one. That way, hopefully, the darkness doesn't kill me. Or I guess he's going to hit me, and then darkness will kill me. So, I think I'm dead either way. Yeah, because there's... Oh, no, 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 but before the end of my turn, I'm going to draw that, which that might kill me, too. Yep, poison, too. <laughs> so if that doesn't... If though if he doesn't kill me, the poison definitely will. <laughs> oh, but what's my, what's my card first? Come on, be a heal. Be a potion, be a potion. It's not a potion, but it is scroll, which I will take five damage and three damage. Yep. I will take that, actually. I'm, not, I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm definitely going to die. But there's only one room, more room left. So I am okay with that. Now he's going to go, and he's got what? He's got five movement. So he's going to go one, two, three, four. Right there, and he's going to hurt me for one. Once again, <laughs> my shields are doing nothing. And, all right. Oh, I have to draw two of them? Yeah, I'm definitely dead. Right there, zigzag. And what do you know? It gets me. All right. Well, that for surely downs me. And because I'm on, I don't draw another one. I just take two more damage, but I can't take two more damage because I am downed. So that means that goes away. It means I take a free willing recall. A free unwilling, I guess, technically. And I'm down. Which doesn't really matter. And now it is my turn again. And at the beginning of my turn, I will go all the way up to the top of my health. And I will flip over. And I am going to do that just so it's a for sure hit and to kill him. I really probably should have just killed him last turn. <laughs> but that's okay. To kill him, I fury again, but I have full fury. But I do get another class ability. 
And I'm definitely getting, you may discard a Fury to reroll an attack. And I still get that plus one. It also gains the bonus damage. So that way, if I do miss, I've got at least the backup. Now I will open up the door. All right. And we have door three, and this is the final door already. As you can see, we got a black monster and then a gray monster here. So we only have two again. Um, a little bit bigger play in area, but also a little bit stronger enemies. So we will see how we do. So, and we place, forgot to place a trauma cube. So I put a trauma cube on Savage Charge because this is the last room. Hopefully we don't need to use that. And right off the bat, for my turn, I'm going to use up to two targets, three damage, and knock down. You can only use one of these a turn because it's a minor action. You can only do one minor action a turn. So I get to do three damage to both. One, two, three. One, two, three. And they're both knocked down. However, he cannot be knocked down, but he can. Ooh, that's actually perfect. So he's going to be knocked down. But he cannot be knocked down because he's a large character. And now I'm actually going to go. So that's just normal ground. So I'm going to go one, two, three. Stay as far away from him as I... No, I'm going to go three. And now I am going to do my grappling hook. Because that is an awesome attack. And I will go six. It hits. I didn't use my fury. You know what? It's the end. I'm going to say I did use my fury. I know that's cheating, but I'm doing it anyways. Because <laughs> that's seven damage. <laughs> so he's already down to five. And then, but he, I can't use telekinesis on him because he's a large character, right? So in that case, I can't really do anything unless I do my join the phrase, my only other melee attack, which gives me another shield too, but that doesn't do anything because no one's attacked my shields. And I could move too, but I don't think that's going to help me at all. Well, actually, yes, let's, let's do move too. Yep. Actually, we'll just move. Yeah, we'll move too. Why not? Face him like a man. And then I'll do... Now I'm spending a fury before I roll. <laughs> I don't know why I think it's so funny when I crit. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think I just... And I did, I did my fury first. So that's four, that's eight damage. <laughs> Just killed him. <laughs> oh man, oh man, oh man. So that kills him. That means I get that fury back. And we get one of these. And I'm going to focus. Why not? All right, I'm going to turn around. Because I am still... Oh no, that was my second cube, huh? Yeah, so... I will just end there. <laughs> and it is Rotten's Flesh turn. And he can't even do anything because he's knocked out, so he's just going to stand up. And then we will draw. That was supposed to be drawn last time. So we're drawing that T shape. And that will not get to me. It's as close as it can get. And now it is my turn. All right, let's see if I could finish him off. One, two, come up, and I'm going to try to behead him with my beheading strike. See if I can't get another crit. Oh, that was almost 16. <laughs> let's see here. Three plus three, that misses, so I'm going to spend one of my furies so I could re-roll one that I just missed, and I do get that plus one, so now it is a plus one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't believe it. <laughs> that is a 16 plus. And it's a plus one damage. And that's so that's a 12 damage. Oh my goodness. And he's dead. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right, so I just made a decision. Technically, this is chapter two. So I, I'm going to go for the boss battle. 
one, because that was quick. And two, I just want to see how I do. It's going to be interesting with one person and the boss battle, because the boss is still going to get so many things. Anyways, I'm going to just stop talking about it, and I am just going to set up the boss battle. So for killing that last guy, I got my last melee cube. So it is a plus three hit, plus two damage, crit 16, push three, and knockdown. Push three, knockdown is not going to do too much, because unless I'm fighting one of the skeletons, but... So that's not too big of a thing, but it's not too bad either. And all right. So the Undead King is at 35 because I had a trauma cube. So I gave him five extra health. He has 30 per player. There's one skeleton, skeleton archer minion at first. We do have two red things here. So that means he is going to move for range one and damage two right now when he goes. So this is what it's going to be hard. Look, I mean, he's going to go five times before I get to go again, right? Every single thing is going to resolve between my turn and his turn. So there's not a whole lot I could do right off the bat here. Yeah, let's see here. Unless I, I guess I could do that. At least do two damage. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I could do that. However, I know he's gonna jump to me, so I actually might just run away. I know this might seem stupid, but I'm gonna battle or battle focus. Focus one, cleanse one's not gonna do anything. But I wanted that other focus so I could do an extra hit in one turn. I mean, it's not gonna stun him, but that's one extra hit. And then. Yeah, I think I'm just going to run away. I know this is probably... St no, I don't want to run too far away. I'll just take... One step forward. Yeah, this might be really stupid, but that's all I'm doing. I'm not even going to attack. Because I don't want to use my range cube... For that guy. Yep, nope, I'm not doing it. So the first one, draw two runes. Do not place on the respective darkness tiles on the board. Do not place the respective darkness tiles. Then summon one skeleton archer minion per player. So basically it's just to make him stronger. So one and two. Two orange ones, which is perfectly fine because they don't do anything. And I don't have any of them right now. So, oh, and summon one per player. So that means we're going to summon one more. Now, it's on the blue. Resolve all conditions affecting the Undead King, which is nothing. Then he attacks all enemies that are within range 1, which there's no one, so we'll keep going. Each hero suffers Curse 1. That I will have to do. I'll take that jump. Then the Undead King attacks each hero at any range, dealing X damage to each. 1, 2, so yeah, it's 2 damage. So I will, uh, where's, we'll do melee, prevent two and move two. And I'm just going to move one right there. So I prevented all the damage. Now the undead key jumps to the strongest hero's area. Each character in that area is thrown into the darkness pool. Let's see, so now he's going to jump. Oh, look, we're both right. I didn't mean to do that. Boom, like that. So I do take two damage from there. One, two. Once again, that does nothing. Oh, wait. I did not prevent two and move two. <laughs> so used to not using that shield. That means I didn't move. That means I was still right there. So he's jumping right there. And then activate all the minions. And the minions have a range one. That means they are both. Nope, he's going to have to step. One off to the side here. And then they're both going to attack for two damage, plus two because they're in the darkness, so four damage each. So this one's going to go here. And then, so now I will do prevent two and move two because I prevented two. And I'm going to move two, one, two, like that. That means this guy, how much movement does he have? Oh, he's got move four, yeah. So he's going to go one, two. 
and shoot me for four because he's still in the darkness. So I will use that to prevent three, so I just take one damage. All right. Now we do draw one rune. And it's obviously, obviously going to hit me. Ooh, dang, another gray. That's another damage. That was a small zigzag. So that one's easy. Hit me right there. No, that sucks. And take two damage. One, two. All right. Now it is my turn. Flip that over so we draw two next time. All right, my turn. First off, I'm going to use this to do five damage to the Undead King. I should have done that last time, but that's okay. So five damage to the Undead King. And then... Dang, I'm going to get have to get hurt again for walking through the darkness. Let's go one, two, three. So I'm on the other side of him. I'll take two more for walking through that darkness. And now... <laughs> Ooh, no, 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 no. Ooh, nope, I can't do that. So I'm going to try to chop his head off here first. With my beheading strike. Come on. <laughs> yes, that is 10 damage. Ah, I didn't use my fury. Ah, oh, well. That is 10 damage, though. Bloop. Down to there. All right, and I did get a Fury for killing that last monster that I didn't get. All right, that was one. And let's go ahead and triple hit now. This is only once per turn, right? That you may... No, I could do that as many times as I want. So in all three of these, I could use a Fury to re-roll. To re so I'm, I'm not going to use anything here at first. 19. Ugh. No, no criticals, no criticals, but that's okay. That's a hit. So that's three, one, two, three, and then roll again. <laughs> that surely is a six. That's another crit. One, two, three, four, five, six. Man, I swear I did not rig this dice. I did not change anything. I do not know how I'm getting so many criticals now. It's a barbarian thing. I mean, this makes sense, right? He's a barbarian. Just makes perfect sense. So for this last one, I am going to use one. And that's a six. Oh, no way. Yep, that is a miss. So I'll use another one. So now this is a plus two. Oh, that's a minus two. You may discard a fear to reroll an attack. You just miss. It gains. Yep. <laughs> Let's go for a third one. <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on. Yes, that is a hit. So that's plus three damage. So that's another six damage. One, two, three, four, five, six. And he's down to 15 damage already. And now I'm going to use this focus two to do one more. Plus one hit, plus two damage and stun. Once again, the stun doesn't do anything, but that's all right. <laughs> plus two damage. That's ten more damage. That is another 10 damage. He's down to 5 health. <laughs> okay. 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 I, I, I don't know what to say right now. I don't know what to say. Oh my goodness. We're just going to keep playing on because <laughs> that's what I do. Um, at the end of that, oh, I can't take a really recall. Oh no. Yeah, because I did both of those. Oh, uh, no. All right. Well, next turn is going to be a little interesting. All right. But that's my turn because I can't do anything else. So we are going to draw two more runes. One and two. A red and a blue. Not sure what those do. Oh, red makes those guys a little bit stronger. And then we are going to summon one more of these guys down here. I'm not even putting the health because I'm not going to attack them. I'm just going to let them kill me. Oh, man. Oh, no. Now I'm in within range one. Ooh, this is going to hurt. One, two, three. Yep. So resolve all effects, which he doesn't have any. And then dealing X plus two damage. So that's five damage. And you know what I'm going to do? Retaliate. 
and I'll take five. One, two, three, four, five, and I'm going to retaliate three. One, two, three. Oh, too bad I didn't have that retaliate all damage. <laughs> that would have been awesome to kill himself. And now I get another curse cube. And I'll just put on that other green one. And then dealing X damage. One, two, three. So three more damage coming into me. And we'll use... Oh, no. I don't have anything. So I'm just... Oh, no, I'm downed. One, two, three. Oh, no. That means I got to get that trauma cube back. And we'll just do it on that one because I'm going to win at my turn. As long as... And then he does... Well, technically, he doesn't see me. I don't know. I'm just still going to say... I'm not sure what happens. If I'm the only character, does that mean he's going to still see me? Because usually when you're down, you're ignored. You know what? I'm just going to say I come back to life right away, and then he's still going to come at me. So he's going to push me in there as he jumps at me there. And I'm going to get two damage. Oh, no. With these skeleton archers. <gasps> and I can't defend a single one of them. I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose. No. No way. Because now I activate all minions. And now I have three of them. One, two, three. Three of them are going to attack me for five each. Three damage plus two because they're all on darkness. And I can't do a single thing. Because it's all, oh my gosh, no way. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I lost. I just lost. How in the world did I just lose? <laughs> With that great of a game. Because I can't, I, I can't prevent anything. I only got those two cubes left. And all my three prevents or st stuff to do are blocked. So they're all coming after me with nothing to do. Yup. So I get hurt for five. One, two, three, four, five. From the yellow guy. Then the blue one goes one, two. Takes a step and hurts me for another five. One, two, three, four, five. And sure enough, this third skeleton attacks me for five. And that's my second trauma cube. That is the first time I think I've ever lost in this game. <laughs> Man, really? He is at three health left. Two, two health left. All I had to do was like flick him and he would have died on my turn. Given, I don't know what would have happened because I was down. So I don't know if he would have pushed me in there to do two more damage. So they would have come up to me to attack. Or they wouldn't have attacked me either because I was down. So I don't know the rules on that. Um, I definitely played it a little harder way because I was doing so good. And then I killed myself. <laughs> so I don't know. Let me, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Do you think I lost or do you think I should have been ignored because I was down? Because technically you're not supposed to get up until the beginning of your turn. So if I'm downed, everything just ignores me. And if I, everything was ignoring me, I, I mean, I would have had multiple attacks. I don't know. Let's say I would have done this, this one. If I would have gone on my turn nine. Yep. See, I would have killed him. <laughs> if I want to have, if they should not have targeted me because I was down. So he wouldn't have moved. These guys wouldn't have targeted me. They would have stayed there. And then I, I would activate and we would go from there. I don't know. I don't know what you guys think. That was actually a lot of fun. I really, really, really liked twerk. Um, both of the barbarians, man. I mean, they're barbarians, right? That's what you're going to get. So let me know what you guys think. Um, thank you so much. I, I've been so surprised at how many people have been watching these um, and all the likes. I, I'm so, so grateful for all of you guys. 
however many actually watch to the end. I don't know, but at least a lot of people click on it, right? <laughs> um, so let me, yeah, let me know, let me know what you guys think. Um, and yeah, we will go for this. Thank you so much.